That whatever it takes for every child but really we mean that you know it's not something that we just say and we don't take that lightly at the end of the day I want them to love school I want them to love and appreciate that our school is willing to go above and beyond to do whatever we can to teach them but my bottom line goal is to teach them to love school and love learning and become a lifelong learner just like I try to be I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock and roll. I love the high throw feeling. I'm a great drop call. When I sing my alma mater, I feel it all night long. I love my school with all my heart and soul. I know I'm going to be all right. Wherever I go. I'm a little bit country. And a little bit rock and roll. By losing your rate of pride, then you need rate of pride alert. Just press the button on the class of 89 Spirit Steep, and we will send help immediately. Rate of pride alert. Help! My rate of pride is falling and it can't get up! It's okay, Miss Timmerman. Help is on the way. Turn up, turn up! Rate of pride, we got some. Rate of pride, we got some. To order your rate of pride alert, just call 1 800 RP Alert. Rate of pride is justified. Looking for a school can be like super overwhelming. You kind of have those fears as a parent that, oh my gosh, the school that I'm gonna pick, it's gonna determine their future and everything else. And you know, it's a big choice that you have because you wanna make sure you're gonna put them in a school where they can continue their whole journey. I'm really super glad we started at Nettleton. It was relief that we had found a school where we felt comfortable sending our child. I felt like any situation he'd get put into, he would be able to succeed. Uh-oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> hey, Leslie, guess what day it is? It's game day. Woo-hoo! Jalen, how happy are students that go to Netherton? I'll see happier than DJ on game day. Game day! Be yeah. happy, be a Raider. Raider pride is justified. So don't forget it. <clears throat> Mr. Miller lost his voice. No problem. I'll send in the replacements. Woo! Woo, Daddy Mercy. Mercy, woo, Daddy. Handsome Johnny. How the heck do you edit on this thing? Mr. McGrew, you're in photo booth. What? <laughs> this son of a Hey, that's all right. Good try. But I'll take it from here. Raider pride! It's justified! They say being a Raider is about more than just going to school. They say being a Raider is about our community, about tradition. Kindergarten at Nelton is about teachers that I love, learning that is fun. It's really about pride in what we do and who we are becoming. Raider pride is justified. Raider pride forever. Nettleton students will do anything for the Spirit State. Would you ding dong ditch Coach Massey? That old man, any day. Dang, come it! Would you get tased by Officer Watts? Yes. Okay. Raider pride. Would you cannonball into the Raider River? Would I? Hold my mullet. Sounds like we're in a Raider Pride ad. That means something awesome's about to happen. Raider Pride, brother, fire the thing in here. Dinger! Hey, run! 
At Nettleton, we got that Raider pride. Because Raider pride is justified. We are Raiders. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. What the heck? Yeah, I'm a junior. Does it matter? You do that for me? Really? Oh, I like that. Who are you talking to? It's DJ from Nettleton. That sounds like a really good deal. DJ from Nettleton at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's DJ from Nettleton. What are you wearing, DJ from Nettleton? A black and gold Raider Pro shirt. She sounds hideous. Well, it's DJ, so. Another reason why Raider Pride is justified. The Nettleton Raiders present Messing with Miller. Nettleton High School, Feature Raider Pride. There comes a time in the life of every Nettleton student when they hear it. Raider Pride! A higher calling. An invitation to achieve, to excel, to be a part of something bigger than themselves. It's the calling of Raider Pride. And it's alive and well at Nettleton, where Raider Pride is justified. I first noticed it when he started school here at Nettleton. There he is. Who's got that Raider Pride? We've got that Raider Pride, brother. Raider Pride, brother. So we're going to pick up today chapter 23. Can anybody tell me what page that's on? 89. Salo, why are you the way that you are? But you know, some of the stuff he does is actually pretty cool. It's Jimmy. Who's Jimmy? Raider Pride can't save you from becoming Mr. Miller, but it can give you the best high school experience ever. Raider Pride is justified. Yeah, we Raiders got the comfort ship. A loaded. Everybody wants to be a show. A boating. Raider Pride in the building. Yeah, yeah. I know it. Ah, oh, yeah, Raider Nation till the day is over. Raider Pride, just a fact. Got it on my side. Six side. Be the guy. Run up and you get a high. Press us the ball. And I'm gonna score like. What y'all know about fifth period Raider Pride? Hop up on the field. You might just have a juke and job. Every day, every day. Yeah, I rip the fire. Cause yeah, you know we fifth period. Yeah, we make it live. Why? Why? Tell Why? them what you got. I got that Raider Pride. 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 Tell them what you got. I got that Raider Pride. 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 Tell them what you got. I got that. I got that. I got that Raider Pride. Tell them what you got. Yeah, I got that. I got that. I got that Raider Pride. Man, our school's pretty amazing. I know. It kind of makes you just want to break, break in into a song. song. I, like I like the faculty. I like in TV. I, I like the principal. principal. Although we paddled me. We love the black hole. We love our sports teams. Raider pride, Raider pride, Raider pride, Raider pride. I like the lunch room. I like learning. We love Nettleton. We love our family. Raider pride, Raider pride, Raider pride. Sister, I'll take my Raider Pride and I'll stick it right up your... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here you go. Try this. Better? Much better. You're not you when you don't have Raider Pride. N -A Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Nettleton High School. 
Raider basketball on NTV, where tonight we have got the Greene County Tech Golden Eagles taking on your Nettleton Raiders. Calling all the action tonight, my name is Craig Miller. I'm with my tag team partner sitting right along courtside up high in the rafters with a man making his broadcast debut tonight, history in the making. We've got Raider senior Adrian Saldivar. Adrian, welcome to the broadcast, my friend. Hey, how, how you doing, Mr. Miller? I'm glad to be here, honestly. Man, glad to have you. Adrian is a standout soccer player for the school and also a standout Nettleton television student. And he is uh, in lab this semester, and we are putting him right to work doing color commentary tonight. Now, Adrian, I know your, your specialty is soccer. But uh, you know enough about basketball to say a thing or two here and there. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. You know, I've, I've watched basketball, you know, you know, growing up. And, you know, I even played it, you know, uh, growing up as well. So, you know, I, I know a little thing or two. But, yeah, definitely it should be should be a fun experience uh, doing this for oh, my no first doubt. time. No doubt, bro. We'll definitely have a great time tonight. And we should see a pretty daggum good basketball game. Your Nettleton Raiders, they've been on a, about a two-week layoff. Unfortunately, they – had a member of their staff contract COVID-19. Thankfully, it was not a bad case, uh, and he is fine and doing well. But because of that, the whole team had to be quarantined for a couple weeks. They are making their return tonight, and they are taking on the Green County Tech Golden Eagles. Now, these two teams have tangled once before back in December, and Green County Tech defeated the Raiders 77 to 54 on their time. So you know, uh, on their court. So. You know, Adrian, our guys would like to get a little bit of sweet revenge tonight. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Um, honestly, you know, coming out or the Raiders coming out tonight, I feel like uh, they, they got some fire in them, and uh, I'm, I'm expecting them to uh, to come out stronger and um, just to uh, just to win the ball game tonight. Well, one thing about it, they should be fresh. Oh, yeah, they've definitely. had about a two-week break. Oh, yeah, that's, that is right. Now, another way to look at that is they might come back rusty. Uh, we'll see, and um, if – things don't go so well that'll be a good excuse for us to use well we're rusty <laughs> so, so be ready for that as far as the records go for both teams Nettleton's coming in eight and ten two and four in conference Green County Tech is 14 and seven four and five in conference Green County Tech is fourth in the 5A East Nettleton is fifth but don't be fooled by that. Green County Tech took Jonesboro, who's perfect 10-0 and in the conference, number one, obviously. Um, Green County Tech took them down to the wire in their last game, which I believe was Friday night. So uh, these guys can play for sure. It should be a heck of a game tonight. This has been your Consolidated Insurance pregame show. We'll take about a, uh, we'll say about a three to four minute break, and tip off will be when we come back. Don't you go anywhere. Raider basketball on NT. Three things we Nettleton Raiders love. We love our school. We love America. And we love getting our trucks fixed up at Russell's Truck Accessories. Russell's Truck Accessories is the greatest place on earth to make your truck look sharp. If Russell's were a bird, they'd be a bald eagle. If they were a nation, they would be the United States of America. The greatest nation on God's green earth. Thanks in part to Russell's Truck Accessories. that whatever it takes for every child but really we mean that you know it's not something that we just say and we don't take that lightly at the end of the day I want them to love school I want them to love and appreciate that our school is willing to go above and beyond to do whatever we can to teach them but my bottom line goal is to teach them to love school and love learning and become a lifelong learner just like I try to be first time you held on to the time you let go. Life is a series of unforgettable firsts, the ones that are planned and the ones that take you by surprise. We celebrate and support these firsts as we travel this journey with you because firsts are what life is all about. First Community Bank, where community comes first. For Terry Gray, rice farming isn't a profession, it's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, 
Let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. Hi, I'm Trish Merritt with A Beautiful Mess Salon. I'm a proud graduate of Nettleton High School and a big supporter of the Raiders. I've been at A Beautiful Mess since we opened in September of 2015. I love to take care of my Raider family, like I take care of the legendary Miss T. So feel free to set up an appointment today. Call 870-520-6039. Raider pride is justified. Raider, Raider pride, pride forever. A lot has changed since the 1950s. But one thing has remained the same. Sue's Drugstore is still keeping Nettleton healthy. Albert and Shirley Sue founded Sue's Drug in 1959, and today their grandson Tyler continues their tradition of fast, friendly, professional service. Sue's Drug Store, keeping Raider Pride healthy and alive since 1959. When the Raiders have wrecks, they call collision repair. Back in 1986, Nettleton's Jeff Edgar was smashing baseballs. He hit the first home run in Raider baseball history. These days, he's fixing smashed cars at Collision Repair. Collision Repair staff is second to none, and their facilities are world class. They'll get you fixed up and back on the road in no time. Collision Repair, it's where the Raiders go when the Raiders have wrecks. There are three things we Nettleton Raiders love. We love our school, we love America, and we love getting our trucks fixed up at Russell's Truck Accessories. Russell's Truck Accessories is the greatest place on earth to make your truck look sharp. If Russell's were a bird, they'd be a bald eagle. If they were a nation, they would be the United States of America. The greatest nation on God's green earth. Thanks in part to Russell's Truck Accessories. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym, where we are just about to get underway, starting for the Raiders, Jabari White, Andre Davis, J.T. Turner, Brandon Anderson, and Jayquise Adams. For Tech, Hunter Wilkerson, Jared Noel, Kyler Morris, Jake Bolin, and George Smith. Tech controls the tip, and we are underway. They try to get the ball underneath to the big man, number 40, George Smith. The pass is errant and out of bounds, and the Raiders will take over. So good start for the Raiders, Adrian. Hey, yeah, yeah, definitely. They're coming out strong. That's what that's what I like to see from the Raiders, especially. Let's see uh, what they can do here. They got Magnum BA, Brandon Anderson, taking the ball up, and he gets it across the timeline with ease to Jabari White, Jayquees Adams, over to J.T. Turner, that's Brandon Anderson to Jayquise Adams. Adams to J.T. Turner, long range three, hey, and it's good. Baby. Heck of a shot there by J.T. Hey, Turner. Hey, that was an amazing three. Hey, let's keep it up that whole game. He shot that with confidence. And it's like he already knew that he was gonna make that. That's right. And it looks like groceries have arrived here in the uh, broadcast booth, Adrian. We got, yes, sir. got hot dogs for our student crew. We appreciate the great concession stand workers. As Green County Tech gets it in to big number 40, George Smith. He is the son of uh, an old school friend of mine, Sherry what? Barber Smith. Really? Sure enough. She's uh, class of 1990. Great lady and good shot there by George Smith. How about that? Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson drives, puts the ball in the bucket. Up The Raiders up 5-2 hey, here in the first quarter. It looks like they're coming out really strong out here. I really am liking how the Raiders are playing right now. Eagles are playing fast pace, but, hey, uh, we got to play. Yeah, the Raiders, they are not backing down for sure. Wow. That's a good shot there by number five, Jared Noel. Three-point basket, and we got ourselves a tie ball game with 6.23 remaining in the first quarter. Hey, first quarter. It's a, hey, beginning of the game, Mr. Miller, this is really this is really heck of a game so far. Looks like it may be a high-scoring affair, the way both teams are kind of come out firing. Turnover like there the on the 
turnover for the Raiders as Hunter Wilkinson intercepts the pass. And here come the Golden Eagles. Green County Tech. Looks the, like Jabari uh, White's going for nice. it. Nice, yeah, good job by Jabari White. He's and driving. Going little Euro step and can't finish. So Green County Tech with the rebound, and here come the Golden Eagles. Going in, looks like he's going in. Two. Nice job by Jared Noel. He has got five of the Tech Eagles' seven points. Boy, it's a fast-paced game, Adrian. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's what I've definitely noticed. Uh, both teams are going at fast pace, strong, and, and man, the Eagles are looking really tough right now. Jaquees Adams misses a little backwards over the head layup <laughs> and difficult shot, almost <laughs> sunk it. Green oh, County man, Tech leaving him open. with the bound and the ball. Right. Nice job, George Smith. Seems like we've got to slow the game down here. Jabari, right? Well, we're losing nine to five. And like Dolly Parton said, what a way to make a living. Hey. Nine to five. Oh yeah. I encourage all of you to check out a foul call there. Um, it's going against Nettleton. Foul is charged against Jabari White. That is his first personal, first team foul. Now, I don't believe George Smith played in our previous game, and but he is making his presence known for sure here. Good pass. Wow. He kick Looks it back out. The, the way they transition the ball, it's it's. It's really amazing how, wow, look at those, look at those passes. Has a good, good hustling rebound there by Noel. Three-point attempt wow. is good by yeah, Hunter really. Wilkerson. These kids can shoot, Adrian. Hey, they really can, Mr. Miller. These, hey, it's 12 to five right now, and man, they, they, they can show that they, they, this game will be a high-scoring game, definitely. Hey, what did we say? Uh, the Raiders are just a little bit rusty, that's all. Hey, just yeah, a little yeah, bit rusty. Definitely, definitely. Two-week layoff. Especially, you know, what COVID can do, you know? It's put, it can put a whole team uh, uh, It is. Setback. It's, it's kind of signs of the times for sure. Uh, the assistant coach comes down with COVID. It takes out the whole team because of the contact tracing. Exactly, yeah. The good news is, is the ball is loose and out of bounds. It's going to go text way. The good news is, uh, with the vaccinations out, surely it's going to be a short amount of time before we are um, kind of back to normal as far as all the COVID, relate, COVID stuff goes. Yeah, right, I, I definitely agree. Tech with the ball, Noel working against JT Turner. They get it back at the top of the key, wow. trying to get it inside to Smith. Wow, what a, that was a good pass. That, that was a really good pass. And that's six points for George Smith and Bubba Deaton with his team down 14 to five. Says, let's take a timeout. We'll take that timeout with them. Be back in 30 seconds. 3.35 remaining in the first quarter. Raiders down 14 to 5. Raider basketball on NTV. It's changed since the 1950s. But one thing has remained the same. Sue's Drugstore is still keeping Nettleton healthy. Albert and Shirley Sue founded Sue's Drug in 1959. And today, their grandson Tyler continues their tradition of fast, friendly, professional service. Sue's Drug Store, keeping Raider Pride healthy and alive since 1959. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym where Green County Tech with a fast start. They have run out to a 14 to five lead over Nettleton with 335 remaining in the first quarter. This Green County Tech team, always tough. It's a basketball school for sure. Now they had an excellent football team this year, but they are, I think anybody from Tech would tell you, they're known more for their basketball than anything else. Multiple state championships, both guys and girls basketball. It's a great, program both sides. JT Turner, three point basket. And JT has six points, six of the Raiders, eight points. Nice shot by JT. The Golden Eagles back at it. That's George Smith who kicks it back outside and that is Noel with a Another three-point basket. Noel's got eight points already in this game. And Green County Tech up 17 to eight. Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson with the ball working against Noel. 
JT Turner drives and he has his shot blocked. I believe that was Hunter Wilkerson who got a hand on it. He grabbed the loose ball, turnover, and Green County take with a nine point lead and the ball, two minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Jason Noel from three. This one is errant. Battle for the loose ball. It goes Nettleton's way. Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson drives. He sinks the layup, and it's good. He's going to the line for the and one. So Brandon Anderson with four points here in the early goings of, the, of this ball game. 2.18 remaining in the first quarter. And Brandon's going to go to the line to shoot the and one. My tag team partner tonight is Adrian Saldivar. I've never seen a man eat a hot dog as fast as Adrian Saldivar just did. I don't, I don't think he even chewed it. He just inhaled the hot dog. Uh, you, hey. feel, you feel better now, though, don't you? Oh, yes, sir. I feel energized now, you know. <laughs> I feel like I can speak now. So I told him, I told him, hey, take a break, eat that hot dog. I figured that, you know, I'd have the rest of the first quarter by myself. Adrian, just it was just nothing but um, elbows and – <laughs> hey, I just I just wanted to be back in uh, back in business <laughs> and make sure that I I, uh, I was here company you, Mr. Miller. I appreciate it, man. You did not leave me alone. Looks like they're going Andre to be Davis. Back. Oh, correction. That's that's not Andre Davis. That's Q Coleman, who entered the game. Reagan Hanna battling hey, for the hi. rebound. Good job by Reagan Hanna. Grabs a couple of offensive rebounds and. Finishes himself. Hey, so amazing work, uh, you know, ma uh, making sure that he got the ball back and putting it inside the net. I've been impressed with Reagan's play this year. He's just a sophomore. Oh, is he? Just a sophomore. Wow, so that's, that's, that's crazy. Speaks well for the future of the program. Oh, what a steal from yes. Jabari White. Nice job by Jabari. He drives, misses oh, at the, at the rim. Jason Noel with the rebound. Noel, three-point attempt is no good. Q Coleman there for to snatch the rebound. I guess you'd call it a rebound on an air ball. Yeah. Brendan Anderson drives, and Brendan Anderson is tied up. Good defense there by Jared Noel as Brendan trying to draw a foul. Jared Noel with the presence of mind to touch all ball, and the referees call jump ball. The possession arrow it was pointing toward Nettleton side, so the Raiders to inbound underneath their own goal. We'll see if they can take advantage. Get it to Reagan Hanna. Reagan Hanna with another basket. The super sophomore getting the job done in the paint. Hey, I could tell a lot by this sophomore that, you know, that he really puts his uh, work that thick into the game and, you know, he fights for the ball. And, hey, that's, that's, uh, that's what you need, you know, especially playing in the game. Well, with that effort, he just he brought Nettleton to within three. And Jake Bolin extends that lead back to six with a three-point basket. 25 seconds on the clock and ticking. Let's see if Nettleton's going to play for the last shot here of the first quarter. JT Turner drives and pulls it back out. Looks like he's controlling the game here. The clock is now at 10 seconds. Q Coleman drives, shoots off the front of the rim. The rebound goes Green County takes way, and they're driving with three seconds on the clock. Three-point attempt is no good, and at the end of the first quarter, your score, Green County Tech 20, Nettleton 14. We'll be right back after 60 seconds. You're watching Raider Basketball on NTV. Harry Gray, rice farming isn't a profession. It's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. Raiders have wrecks. They call collision repair. Back in 1986, Nettleton's Jeff Edgar was smashing baseballs. He hit the first home run in Raider baseball history. These days, he's fixing smashed cars at Collision Repair. Collision Repair staff is second to none, and their facilities are world class. They'll get you fixed up and back on the road in no time. Collision Repair. It's where the Raiders go when the Raiders have wrecks.
And we welcome you back to Raider Gym, where the second quarter is just about to get underway. Green County Tech wins the first quarter by the score of 20 to 14. Thankfully, Raider Nation, it's not the score at the end of the first quarter, it's the score at the end of the game. And a lot of game left here. Green County Tech with the ball here at the start of the second quarter. They're working their way around the perimeter. Nettleton yeah. with a like a little two three zone that they've got going. They passed the ball really well. That's what I noticed in this game so far. Good fundamental basketball out there for oh, sure. Yeah, definitely. You can bet a, a Green County Tech team is gonna take care of the basketball. And right now they have they probably had twelve or thirteen passes on this possession. Yeah. It, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Miller, but you know, having possession in basketball is a really, it's a really important thing, correct? Yes. I'm so sorry about that. I, I had to uh, check out on you just a second. Christian Walls, the guilty uh, uh, Golden Eagle. I was trying to look to, for the referee to see who <laughs> the foul was against. Fouls against Green County Tech's Christian Walls. First personal, second, second team foul. Now, what was your question again, Adrian? I'm no, sorry, bro. I, yeah, I was just uh, asking Mr. Miller, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but, you know, having possession in basketball, you know, isn't that like a really important thing or like Ab a smart, smart Absolutely. That's, uh, you got to have possession of the ball to score. That, right. that should, you know, tell you all you need to know right there. And Reagan Hanna misses with a – Five footer, Green County Tech with the rebound, and now there's a little. Hey, good hey, defense good underneath. Defense. Q Looks Coleman. Like and Fowler going in. And look at there. That's Jamarion Fowler. Jamarion going up, and he is fouled. So Jamarion Fowler will be at the line shooting two. Something tells me Jamarion will be watching this broadcast a little bit later. He'd probably like to hear Adrian say something good about him right <laughs> oh, now. Oh, yeah, definitely. Hey, that that's uh, that's my classmate right there. He's a funny guy, uh, <laughs> a great friend, honestly. And, you know, he's a. Whenever, he, whenever when he uh, he talks about basketball, you know I can just tell by his voice, you know that he's he's passionate about the game and you know always making sure that he does his best out in the court. You said it right when you said he's a hilarious guy. He's he's got a very good impersonation of Mr. Biddle. Oh, <laughs> oh yes he does. Yes he does. <laughs> hey, he sinks the second of two free throws and brings Nettleton within five. 6.45 on the clock here in the second quarter. Five down the point. Say a shout out to our student crew tonight. Tony Williams directing, Sarah Earns on camera. We Monday night basketball. We normally don't play on Monday night as a long range three doesn't find its mark. Reagan Hanna with the rebound and the fouls charged against Green County Tech's number five, Jared Noel. That's his second personal, and it's Green County Tech's fourth team foul. Wow. We don't normally play basketball on Monday nights, but this is a makeup game. Oh, yeah. uh, it's a, a COVID makeup game, or, and we are yes. glad to be bringing it to you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I heard Mr. Miller, Jamarion was even, I think Jamarion was the one telling me, uh, they're going to have three, two games back to back. They play tomorrow night at Paragool. And we're working on getting a student crew together. It's may uh, we may not be able to bring it. If if that's the case, we hey, hey that's a three-point three basket Jabari there with Jabari White. White. Jabari White with the three-point basket brings Nettleton to within two, 20 to 18. You know, let me tell you something about Jabari White, Mr. Miller. I had him a class. Uh, I had him with Coach Carlton actually, and. Um, and, you know, every time I talk to him, you know, he's a very respectful man, you know, a, a great dude, a great personality. And, you know, when it came, to, and, you know, same thing as I said about Jamarion, you know, uh, when it comes to basketball, he's he's passionate. He, he has grit. He has determination. And, uh, man, I got I to gotta give a lot of respects to Jabari White. You know, I've never had Jabari in class, so I don't know Jabari as well as I do, say, Jamarion, Brandon Anderson, Dalen Goodlow, but. And that's uh, Brendan Anderson who sinks the basket, but it's not gonna not gonna count. Uh, the foul was charged on the floor, so Nettleton will take it out as that is the sixth team foul against Green County Tech. Next foul, Green County Tech commits. Nettleton will be at the line for the one and one. Oh, really? Unless it's a 
a shooting foul, of course, and they'll be shooting two. Yes, sir. Yeah, they uh, they give you six fouls without getting free throws, and they're at six right now. Next one, it'll be in what they call the bonus. So every seven fouls, I would think? Seven, well, seven fouls are in the uh, one and one bonus, and then if it gets up to 10 fouls, it'll be a double bonus, so they'll get two. Yes, sir. And Nettleton, I believe a technical foul has been called against uh, Brandon Anderson. Not sure exactly what happened right there. I believe that uh, out of frustration, he might have slammed his hands on the ground, and uh, unfortunately, he got, uh, got whistled for that. At the line, Green County Tech, they missed both free throws. What's that, what's that young man's number right there? Just Thir shot 13? 13, yes, sir. Okay, it's uh, Benji Goodman, misses both. But because of a technical foul, they do have possession. It's one thing you'll learn about me, Adrian. My eyesight is getting bad in my old age, so you may have to you may have to call out some numbers to me here. <laughs> yes, sir. No problem, hey. But you still got a he's still a pretty good-looking young man, to I, me, Mr. Miller. I appreciate that. I I turned 50 last Sunday. 50, 50 years wow. old. Wow. 50 years old. Yeah. How, so. how do you feel, Mr. Miller? Oh, I feel great. Man, being around people like you and Sarah Earns and Tony Williams keeps me young. Oh yeah, definitely. I bet. I always make sure, I always make sure that I keep the your culture and uh, keep going. You know, with the Fargo strut. And, uh, <laughs> you have learned a lot from Mr. Miller. I promise you. Yes, if you sir. know the Fargo strut, man. J.T. Turner is whistled for the travel, and that will be a turnover. Nettleton's pulled within four. They trailed by the by six at the end of the first quarter. So Nettleton is outscored Green County Tech by two here in this quarter. Inbounding is Hunter Wilkerson. He inbounds to number 10, Kyler Morris. <clears throat> Somewhere in the house will be Ryan Vaughn, KEIT Chief Meteorologist. He actually did the weather from our parking lot tonight, I believe. Yeah, we actually, yeah, we actually saw him uh, when coming through. We actually saw him in the parking lot doing some things. Not sure what he was doing, but it looked interesting. He's a uh, he's a good dude. I really uh, really like Ryan Vaughn. Actually, he he um, at the girls' game, I believe it was last last Tuesday, maybe last Friday. He he was uh, kind enough to join us in the broadcast booth. Did, oh, wow. did the job you're doing. So wow. J T Turner long range three off the front of the rim. The Raiders get the rebound. That's Andre nice. Davis can't mm -hmm. get it to fall. Green County Tech with possession. Three minutes forty eight seconds on the clock. Morris kicks it over. Back to the top of the key. Three-point attempt is no good. So nice rebound here. there by Andre Davis, and here come the Raiders. Jabari White unable to finish, but Jaquise Adams skies and grabs the rebound. Jaquise Adams misses. Offensive rebound, Adams. Battle for the ball under the basket. Hey. Jaquise Adams puts it in. Hey, you got to be impressed by the uh, by the effort there, Jaquise Adams. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey, that that's how that's how it always should be. You know, always fighting for the ball and not backing down. You know, always giving it a hundred percent. And the and the Raiders within two, Adrian, with 3:09 on the clock. Let me tell you something, Mr. Miller. This game is, is it's, it's good. It really is. People who have uh, come out tonight. Hey, there, there's a three right there. Treated to a very good game so far, and that's a very good shot by Hunter Wilkerson, three-pointer. He's got six in this game, and he gives Green County Tech a five-point lead. Two minutes, 44 seconds on the clock. It's one thing I wish we could provide for the good people at home is a running clock. Unfortunately, we... Not able to do that with the technology at, all, at our disposal, uh, but I will do my best to keep you posted what the uh, what the time is. As you can see on, on your screen there, it's uh, 25 to 20. You can see the score, you can see the quarter. Unfortunately, we're not able to get the, uh, the clock on there, at least not yet. Maybe sometime soon we'll figure out a way to, to do that. That's, <laughs> that's on our to-do list, but. Yes, sir. We hey, wanna. It's something that I that that I've learned is that you learn something every day, Mr. Miller. Hey, that's what people who grow do. They try to learn every day for yep. sure. If you're not growing, you're dying. <laughs> three point attempt hey, is good. That's, that's Jake three. Bolin. Nice shot by 
Man, we have Jake a lot Nolan. of shooters tonight. Oh, he, these, these young men can fill, the, fill it up for sure. He gives Tech a seven point lead with 2.13 remaining in the game. That shot a little bit short and Green County Tech with the rebound. They've got a seven point lead, they've got the ball, they've got 2.04 on the clock here in the second quarter. Coach, coach, coming with the ball, ball coach down. Gio giving some pointers, some uh, instructions to Kyler Morris. And and try to work it into George oh, Smith. What a Heck pass. of a man! That was a very what nice a pass, pass by George Smith. And number 13, Benji Goodman. They knew exactly what to do with it, but credit Smith with an assist and a dang good one. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, you know. I don't watch a lot of basketball, but man, I could just tell that that was an amazing pass. Right you got to appreciate that. Oh yeah, definitely. No, obviously, I'm a Nettleton guy. You know who I'm rooting for. But you've got to tip your hat to George Smith on that pass right there. That's yeah. just good basketball. I definitely agree with you, Mr. Miller. And let me tell you something. George Smith's mother is an Edelton Raider. I don't care if she is rooting for Green County Tech tonight. <laughs> She's an Edelton Raider. Sherry Barber Smith. Sherry was on the overall state champion Lady Raider volleyball team back in 1987. Wow, I, really? Yes, yes. So she's a great Nettleton Raider. Man, we have a lot of we have a lot of chance. No doubt about it. And that's George Smith. Man, he's got 10 points on the game. So he is making his mama proud. All right, definitely. Three Don't point push. attempt and it is, is good. Good. Jabari White brings Nettleton to within eight. 41 seconds. Coach Deaton calls a timeout. 30-second timeout, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just keep it right here during the 30-second timeout, and I will tell you about our wonderful sponsors. If you're watching the game tonight from the comfort of your living room or your bedroom or wherever it is that you may be watching, you've got these folks to thank. First Community Bank, Russell's Truck Accessories, Shadrach's Coffee, Collision Repair, Della Plain Seed Company, Sue's Drugstore, Consolidated Insurance, and Trish Merritt from a beautiful mess salon. Big thanks to these folks who support the Raiders, and we want to encourage you in these difficult times, shop local, eat local, support your local businesses, and support those people who love and support the Nettleton Raiders. Green County Tech with the ball, 40 seconds on the clock here in the second quarter. Let's see if. 24 and 32. Tech may be content with 30 seconds on the clock to hold it for the for the final shot. Looks like they're just going to keep the ball here. Yeah, they're letting the clock run down to zero, and they're going to um, try to get the last shot before the buzzer. Going to go into the break with at least an eight-point lead. The clock is at six seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, three-point attempt is good by wow. Benji Goodman. And boy, that's a dagger. Tough way to end the second quarter. At the half, Tech up 35 to 24. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back with the Consolidated Insurance Halftime Show. You're watching Raider Basketball on NTV. That whatever it takes for every child, but really we mean that. You know, it's not something that we just say, and we don't take that lightly. At the end of the day, I want them to love school. I want them to love and appreciate that our school is willing to go above and beyond to do whatever we can to teach them. But my bottom line goal is to teach them to love school and love learning and become a lifelong learner, just like I try to be. I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock and roll. I love the high throw film. I'm a great talk. When I sing my alma mater, I feel it all night long. I love my school with all my heart and soul. I know I'm going to be all right. Wherever I go. I'm a little bit country. And a little bit rock and roll. About losing your Raider Pride, then you need Raider Pride Alert. Just press the button on the class of 89 Spirit Steve, and we will send help immediately. Raider Pride Alert. Help! My Raider Pride is falling and it can't get up! It's okay, Miss Timmerman. Help is on the way. Turn up, turn up! Raider Pride, we catch on. Raider Pride, we catch on. 
to order your Rate of Pride alert. Just call 1-800-RP-ALERT. Rate of Pride is justified. Looking for a school can be like super overwhelming. You kind of have those fears as a parent that, oh my gosh, the school that I'm gonna pick, it's gonna determine their future and everything else. And you know, it's a big choice that you have because you wanna make sure you're gonna put them in a school where they can continue their whole journey. I'm really super glad we started at Nettleton. It was relief that we had found a school where we felt comfortable sending our child. I felt like any situation he'd get put into, he would be able to succeed. Uh-oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? Ha 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 Hey, Leslie, guess what day it is? It's game day. Woo-hoo! Jalen, how happy are students that go to another thing? I'll see happier than DJ on game day. Game day? Be yeah. happy, be a Raider. Raider pride is justified. Hey, here we are. Okay, we are uh, we're live. Sorry about that little uh, technical difficulty on our end, but we are here with the Consolidated Insurance Halftime Show. And my name is Craig Miller, joined here by Adrian Saldivar. We're at the half. The Green County Tech Golden Eagles lead Nettleton by the score of 35 to 24. And Adrian, we mentioned that at the outset, we mentioned that Nettleton was had a two week break basically they'll either come in really well rested or a little bit rusty and I think we could say a little bit of both in that first half yeah, yeah definitely you know I mean uh, in pregame uh, you can see that they came out with fire but obviously with that two week setback you know it, it you can really definitely tell by the by the game so far well, basketball is a game of rhythm for sure and uh, the, the uh, Raiders have uh, been unable to establish rhythm over the last couple of weeks because they have been on the sidelines and Green County Tech, his team is really playing good right now and they lead 35 to 24 at the half. The first quarter, Green County Tech outscored Nettleton 20 to 14. The second quarter, they outscored Nettleton 15 to 10 and that set the score at 35 to 24. The individual leaders for both teams for Nettleton they are led by Jabari White and J.T. Turner, who both have six points apiece. Brandon Anderson has four points, and Reagan Hanna does as well. Also for Nettleton, Jaquees Adams, two. Andre Davis is one. So I'm doing my Nettleton arithmetic right here. Nettleton's got seven players who have scored. That's a good sign, some pretty good balanced offense by the Raiders. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, when you have a team where everybody can score, hey, that, that's when you become deadly for sure. So. It makes it a lot tougher for the other team to defend, oh, for sure. Yeah. Speaking of the other team, Green County Tech is led by George Smith, who has 10 points, six of which came in the first quarter. And uh, that young man's been impressive, George Smith. As we mentioned numerous times during the first quarter, his mother is a Nettleton Raider, Sherry Barber Smith. <laughs> and um, Sherry just – right down there actually we should have grabbed her for the for the halftime show but <laughs> i know she's proud of her son george who's had a really really good first half also for green county tech jared noel has eight points great half there by jared noel i know a lot of noels up in and Paragool, very good people, just good godly people. Hunter Wilkerson has six points, as does Jake Bolin, and Benji Goodman has five points, including that little dagger there at the end of the second quarter. He yeah. buried a three-pointer as the, at the buzzer. Yeah, so Benji Goodman, amazing. man, that was a good shot. He yeah. and he gave Tech a lot of momentum going into the uh, to the halftime break. Definitely, especially when that happens, you know, you give uh, your team a, a big uh, confidence boost. So it's, you know. It's a big boost for sure, and good shot there by Goodman. But a good first half by the Raiders. They trail by 11 here at the break. You have This is the Consolidated Insurance Halftime Show. I want to say a shout-out to my great friends Randy and Lana Johnson. They are the owners, the operators of Consolidated Insurance. For all your insurance needs, whether it be auto, life, home, no matter what it is that you want insured, 
visit with my good friends Randy and Lana Johnson at Consolidated Insurance. They are the sponsors of the Consolidated Insurance Halftime Show. All right, we're about three minutes and 40 seconds away from the second half, so we'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll have second half action for you. For Adrian Saldivar, Craig Miller, you're watching Raider Basketball on NTV. First time you held on to the time you let go. Life is a series of unforgettable firsts. The ones that are planned and the ones that take you by surprise. We celebrate and support these firsts as we travel this journey with you. Because firsts are what life is all about. First Community Bank, where community comes first. We're Terry Gray. Rice farming isn't a profession, it's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. Hi, I'm Trish Merritt with a Beautiful Mess Salon. I'm a proud graduate of Nettleton High School and a big supporter of the Raiders. I've been at A Beautiful Mess since we opened in September of 2015. I love to take care of my Raider family, like I take care of the legendary Miss T. So feel free to set up an appointment today. Call 870-520-6039. Raider pride is justified. Raider, Raider pride, pride forever. A lot has changed since the 1950s, but one thing has remained the same. Sue's Drugstore is still keeping Nettleton healthy. Albert and Shirley Sue founded Sue's Drug in 1959, and today their grandson Tyler continues their tradition of fast, friendly, professional service. Sue's Drugstore, keeping Raider Pride healthy and alive since 1959. When the Raiders have wrecks, they call collision repair. Back in 1986, Nettleton's Jeff Edgar was smashing baseballs. He hit the first home run in Raider baseball history. These days, he's fixing smash cars at Collision Repair. Collision Repair staff is second to none, and their facilities are world class. They'll get you fixed up and back on the road in no time. Collision Repair, it's where the Raiders go when the Raiders have wrecks. There are three things we Nettleton Raiders love. We love our school, we love America, and we love getting our trucks fixed up at Russell's Truck Accessories. Russell's Truck Accessories is the greatest place on earth to make your truck look sharp. If Russell's were a bird, they'd be a bald eagle. If they were a nation, they would be the United States of America. The greatest nation on God's green earth. Thanks in part to Russell's Truck Accessories. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym. Second quarter getting underway. Tech with the 35 to 24 lead here at the break. Nettleton getting a boost. Their leading scorer, Israel Malone, checking into the game. Israel had to set out the first half, but he is back out there. And let me tell you something, he's a difference maker. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, the, the games that I've watched, uh, I can just, you can just tell, man, that he's a he's a game changer when he's in the game. So, if I'm being honest, Mr. Miller, uh, Israel Malone is one of one of uh, uh, entertaining players that I like to watch. Oh man, S very athletic. He's one of those guys that can get up above the rim. As Smith sinks his 12th point of the game. It's a game high, 12 points. Leads all scorers. 
Magnum BA, Brandon Anderson kicks it to Jayquise Adams. Jayquise to JT Turner. JT Turner drives and he runs into a tech defender. That is George Smith. That is George's third personal and the second team foul this half. Azure has the ball now going in. Oh, looking for that pass. Couldn't complete it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if uh, Jayquise was just not ready for it or if that pass was a little bit strong. In any event, it was off of Jayquise Adams and out of bounds. So Green County Tech with the ball. Jabari White providing a little bit of full court pressure right there for the Raiders. Tech gets it across the half court line. Green County Tech working their offense. Coach Gio, their head coach. He is a good one. Yeah, I can tell. Nice block shot too. by Jay Quise Adams to JT Turner. Magnum BA, hey, Brandon hey, Anderson finishes. How about that, Adrian? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I'm excited. Hey, the Raiders are coming coming out strong, so that, that's that's the importance to see. We'll see if that carries over. Heck of a play there by Jay Quise. That young man can jump. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey, I, it's a. Uh, See the head of Sherry Smith right there as she's <laughs> returning to her seat, <laughs> Sherry Barbara Smith. So she'll appreciate that a little bit later. Oh yeah. We'll she see. sent me a Facebook message earlier asking where the game will be streamed, and I, was, I said, "Hey, I'm gonna give you a shout out tonight," and she was like, "You better not." So <laughs> <laughs> when she watches this, she's not gonna be happy with me, she'll especially be. since I shouted her out as she was walking in front of our broadcast location. Yeah, she, she'll be appreciated. She might be furious with you after, but hey, one of these days she'll appreciate it. <laughs> You'll thank me tomorrow. Three-point attempt is no good. It's our ball now. JT Turner. To Jabari White. That's Israel Malone. Malone behind his back. Shoots and ball partially deflected. Come up a little bit short. Here come the Golden Eagles. From three, no good. Israel Malone with the rebound to Magnum BA, Brandon Anderson. Anderson unable to finish, but look at Israel Malone Man. get up. Out of bounds off of Nettleton, off of Malone. Or excuse me, it would be off of Green County Tech. It'll be Nettleton's ball. Wow. That was a uh, that was an interesting that was interesting to watch there. I, that uh, Malone can jump. Oh yeah, definitely. Ooh. Malone misses at the rim and Tech with an 11 point lead and the ball 520 on the clock in the third quarter. Look at that steal. Yeah, turnover, good job by the Raiders. Jayquise Adams, three point attempt. Brandon Anderson, hey, and it's good. What a three pointer. Magnum BA. Hey, let's keep this fire up. Three ball, way. that's right. And Coach Gio says, hey, I need to have a little talk with my team. He calls a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with him. 5-0-1 remaining in the third quarter. Raiders down 37-29. You're watching Raider basketball on NTV. It's changed since the 1950s. But one thing has remained the same. Sue's Drugstore is still keeping Nettleton healthy. Albert and Shirley Sue founded Sue's Drug in 1959, and today their grandson Tyler continues their tradition of fast, friendly, professional service. Sue's Drug Store, keeping Raider Pride healthy and alive since 1959. And we welcome you back to Raider Basketball on NTV. We're with 5.01 remaining in the third quarter. Green County Tech with a 37 to 29 lead over the Raiders. I did the math during the break, Adrian. That's an eight point lead. Eight point lead? Eight point lead, I did the math. Hey, that's not that bad actually. Jim McDaniel, Charlene Jernigan. I'm sure they're very proud of me. My old math teachers in high school. Ooh. Fouls charged against Nettleton. That'll be Jayquise Adams. That is his first personal, just the second team foul for Nettleton. At the line is number 21, Jake Bolin. He sinks the first free throw. Second on the way. He misses that one. Israel Malone with the rebound. And Jabari White driving. Well, that didn't take long. He is fouled. Jabari White will be going to the line and shooting two. Looks like Jabari White really wanted that. 
I would say so. so it was, he put it in road high and took off. Mm -hmm. So Jabari at the line, shooting two. Jabari has six points in this game. All of them came in the second quarter. Jabari's a guy that missed a little bit of time this year with an injury. He got his nose broken in the Valley View game. Really? You talk about a painful injury. Hey, fun fact, Mr. Miller, I actually broke my nose uh, beginning of this, uh, or actually uh, the beginning of 2020. You broke it in a soccer game? Uh, it was actually a pickup soccer game. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I remember uh, when practices uh, started, I would have to wear a mask during the practices. And, and that's what Jabari was wearing. He had a mask, but evidently his nose is healed up to the point where he doesn't need the mask anymore. So. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's, it's our director, Tony Williams, she's in my ear here. She said he didn't just break his nose. He shattered his nose in oh, that Valley View game. So wow. You talk about a, a painful injury. It's a broken nose. Uh, when, it, when it comes to sports, Mr. Miller, I mean, you just, it happens, you know? I mean, when you're playing. That's when right. You're playing with, uh, with like 100% going all out, I mean, things like that can always happen. And stuff like that. It's a lot like life. Yeah. You know, sometimes you get hurt. You can't just roll over. You got to keep on going. And it's like what Mama said. <laughs> it be like that sometimes. That's right. Israel Malone with the rebound. Israel Malone going coast hey. to coast like buttered toast. And he finishes strong at the rim. The Raiders leading scorer on the board. Nettleton within six. Three-point attempt is short. Battle for the rebound. And it's going to be a foul charge against Green County Tech. I believe Noel is the, yeah, that's, that is Jared Noel. That is his third personal. Looks like it was gonna, looks like it got rough a little bit down there. Yeah, it was a little, uh, let's just put it this way, the adrenaline is flowing out there for <laughs> sure. And these, uh, these young men are competitors. Hi. That's, a, that's what a team is. That's right. There's adrenaline, there's testosterone. There's a lot of uh, chemicals in play down there on the hardwood. Raiders trailing by six. Let's see if they can't cut it on this position. And that's going to have to be a travel on Q Coleman. As he took one more step than he was allowed. So Green County take with the ball. Yeah, competition, you know as an athlete yourself, Adrian, when you're in the in the heat of competition, um, you know, you don't always act like you would hope you would act. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah it's, uh, Hey, we're all human. Ain't none of us perfect. And I definitely agree with you, Mr. Miller, especially, you know, as an athlete. And, you know, when, when the game becomes more than just a game, you know, uh, you know, you do whatever it takes to, uh, to win the ball game. And, you know, and just like you said, uh, sometimes you, you act like, like you don't want to, and, yep. and that's just, that's human. That's us. That's and just hopefully we we're, you know, we're teaching these young men the value of sportsmanship, that, you know, you want to beat your opponent, but you also want to respect your opponent. And oh, yeah, definitely. Magnum B.A. misses, but he is fouled. That foul is charged against Benji Goodman. So Magnum B.A. will be at the line shooting two. That's five team fouls for Green County Tech. Magnum B.A., Brandon Anderson. Do you know where that name comes from, Magnum B.A., Adrian? I really don't know, Mr. Miller. I, hear, I heard well, you uh, say his name, say that name a couple times, but I really don't know where it comes well, from. Well, Back in the 80s, there was a famous wrestler. I think his name was Terry Anderson, but they called him Magnum T.A. Really? And so you know me, I like to give nicknames to my students when I can, and so it just helps me remember their names a lot of times. And B.A., Magnum B.A., just kind of kind of flowed like that. That's where it comes from, just in case you ever need to know. <laughs> if somebody That's asks you, hey, where did, where did Magnum B.A. get his nickname? You can say, like most of Mr. Miller's nicknames, it came from wrestling. Jordan Pegram into the game, and I believe Jordan's going to be whistled for the foul. That's Jordan's first personal third team foul. Good to see the sophomore. A couple of sophomores out there on the floor, Jordan Pegram and Reagan Hanna. 
Yeah, definitely. It's good to see y these young players, you know, really coming out here and showing what they what they have to offer. I believe that's the class of 2023, if I, if my math is right. The class, of the sophomores, the class of 2023. They have a, they have actually a, some some good athletes in that class. Right, there's a couple of them out there right now for sure. Pegram is an outstanding football player. I, I would say next level football player and a heck of a basketball player as well. Reagan and Hannah doing a great job as well. Magnum BA loses the handle on it and Green County Tech. Oh, nice play there by Brandon Anderson. Blocks the shot, but he got a little bit of hand and so he's whistled for the foul. Mm -hmm. That like is uh, Dave, like David Williams at the line. I'm sorry, Adrian, David Williams at the line. That's a young man who, if you if you remember the football game, Nettleton versus Green County Tech football game, he killed us. <laughs> David Williams, he was there running back. We couldn't tackle him. Really? I, mean, he I, was, I didn't know that. Oh, he was incredible. And so he's getting some playing time here on the hardwood. I promise you, he is an outstanding football player. I, I would believe it, Mr. Miller. We, uh, we struggled bringing that young man down. And he misses a couple of free throws, and they're going to call George Smith for another foul. By my count, that's four personal fouls on George Smith. Adrian, if he gets one more foul, he's out of this game. Ooh, he needs to really be careful then. He does, and I, I'm telling you, that would help Nettleton's cause. <laughs> as uh, If he does go out, you know, not wanting to wish the young man any ill will or anything, but he's but hey, a benefit for us, right? Absolutely. He's got 12 points in this game and he is Tech's leading scorer. Good rebound, unable to put the ball in the hoop, however, in Green County Tech to George Smith. George Smith with his 14th point of the game gives Tech a seven point lead with one minute on the clock here in the third quarter. Israel Malone walks it across the half court line. 52 oh, seconds on the line, clock. For sure. Israel drives, misses, rebound Reagan Hanna. Reagan Hanna can't get it to fall, but he's gonna go to the line shooting two. That is Jake Boland's third personal foul and Tech's seventh team foul. 17? Uh, seventh, number oh, seven. seven. Team foul. Sorry about that. Seventh team foul. <laughs> I was going to say 17 fouls. That's a, that's, that's a lot of that's, fouls. Yeah, that is a lot of fouls. Yeah, they, they've been cheating a lot. Yeah. Hannah misses the second, but there to get the rebound is number two, Andre Davis. Battle for the loose ball goes to Green County Tech. Tech with a seven point lead and the ball with 35 seconds remaining on the clock here in the third quarter. Nice job over there by Israel Malone. This young man can just jump out of the gym. I didn't. I really didn't expect that he would jump that high. Yeah, he's got, uh, as the kids say these days, he's got some hops. <laughs> I, I think the kids might say that these days. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe it was the yeah, kids yeah, in the yeah, 80s. Hops. Was a, some hops. That's, uh, that's a slang that we use. Nice play. There's only seven seconds left on the on the clock. Buzzer, oh. no good. And that was uh, Kyler Morris who scored that previous basket for Green County Tech. At the end of the third quarter, it's 42-33 Tech. We'll be right back in 60 seconds. Raider basketball on NTV. Leaders have wrecks. They call collision repair. Back in 1986, Nettleton's Jeff Edgar was smashing baseballs. He hit the first home run in Raider baseball history. These days, he's fixing smashed cars at collision repair. Collision repair staff is second to none and their facilities are world class. They'll get you fixed up and back on the road in no time. Collision Repair. It's where the Raiders go when the Raiders have wrecks. First time you held on to the time you let go. Life is a series of unforgettable firsts. The ones that are planned and the ones that take you by surprise. We celebrate and support these firsts as we travel this journey with you. Because firsts are what life is all about. First Community Bank, 
where community comes first. And we welcome you back. It's the fourth quarter, the Raider gym, and the Raiders down by nine. However, in the third quarter, they outscored Green County Tech nine to seven. So they won the third quarter. That's a good way of looking at it, Adrian. Mm -hmm. We just got to win the fourth quarter here by um, nine points or more. Win it by more than nine. We're going to win this game. We just got to win this quarter hey. by nine points. That's the way you got <laughs> to look at it, Mr. Miller. Trying to think positive. Fourth quarter underway as Tech inbounds it. And the this game has been really going by really fast. What really has is is uh, usually we play double headers these conference games because this is a makeup game, just a guys game. So we'll be home a little earlier than normal right. tonight, which is good for the 50-year-old Mr. Miller because <laughs> it's also good for our student crew as well. The 18-year-old Sarah Earns and the 17-year-old Tony Williams. Definitely, definitely. Well, Green County Tech really slowing it down here. They have. You, know, you can see that they have possession of the ball, and they just make. Uh, you know, this is making sure. Yeah, they Jake. Control the game. Trying to, with a, a um, 42 with a nine-point lead. They're wanting to shave time off of the clock with every possession. Yeah. They shaved about 40 seconds on that possession. Unfortunately for them, they. Had a traveling infraction. It gives Nettleton the ball. Mm -hmm. Magnum B.A., Brandon Anderson from oh. three. No good off of the face of a Green County Tech defender. That's Jake Bolin who took one right in the soup cooler. But Green County Tech with the ball. They are working it around the perimeter. A lot of passing here. A lot of passing. Coach Normandale would be very proud of him. Did you ever see the movie Hoosiers, Adrian? No, never actually. Well, let me give you a little homework assignment. Watch the movie Hoosiers. It's one of the greatest sports movies of all time. Some people say the greatest. Really? And it is an outstanding basketball movie. You, you would love it. Hey, Israel Malone. Too. How about that? Watch this, folks. Oh, he missed the dunk. Israel Malone. <laughs> Had plenty of time. He got up, but he just missed the dunk. The Green County Tech with the rebound, trying to electrify this crowd, and came up a little bit short. Hey, no, it's, it's an effort that he's always giving uh, Israel Malone, always going for those. And ooh. JT Turner with the rebound from Benji Goodman's errant shot. Israel Malone with a little extra step before he started the dribble. He is whistled for the travel. And it'll be Green County Tech ball. 542 remaining in the game. Tech with a nine-point lead. There has been no score here in the fourth quarter. Two and a half minutes in. You Tech. Can, you could just tell that, you know, these two teams are just Really battling it out right now, especially Green County. And looks like there's a steal right there. How about that? Raiders going to have to take advantage. They're going to get back in this thing. Q Coleman is fouled, and I believe they called it a foul on the ground. But that's 21, Jake Bolin. I believe that's his fourth personal. So Q Coleman will be at the line shooting the one and one. He makes the first free throw. He gets to shoot a second one. Misses the first one, then it's a live ball. He makes the first one, and Seems like that's easy. we are. If I was down there, Mr. Miller, I would miss all of those. <laughs> well, if it was a soccer-free shot, though, I have no idea you would make it. <laughs> hey, I always try to, I always try to improve on everything that I could, especially on. On soccer and the free kicks and everything. Green County Tech takes a full timeout, 60 second timeout. We'll take it with them. 42 34, Tech with the lead in fourth quarter. You're watching Raider basketball on it. <laughs>
things we Nettleton Raiders love. We love our school, we love America, and we love getting our trucks fixed up at Russell's Truck Accessories. Russell's Truck Accessories is the greatest place on earth to make your truck look sharp. If Russell's were a bird, they'd be a bald eagle. If they were a nation, they would be the United States of America. The greatest nation on God's green earth. Thanks in part to Russell's Truck Accessories. We appreciate our great friends from Russell's Truck Accessories who are one of our great sponsors here as we are underway, five minutes and 10 seconds. Good looking shot of the scoreboard there by Sarah Earns. Ronnie Russell, his parents were the custodians at the Nettleton Middle School whenever I was in there as George Smith scores. And that's the first points for Green County Tech of the fourth quarter, gives them a 10 point lead. But Mr. and Mrs. Russell, uh, they were Ronnie's parents, and they took care of us at the middle school when I was in school. And Ronnie Russell, the owner, operator of Russell's Truck Accessories. Foul is charged underneath, and it's Hunter Wilkerson. That is his second personal. Coach Gio, I don't know, I don't know if y'all picked that up or not, but boy, he was really doing some hollering down there. Did you hear that, Adrian? Oh yeah, I, was, I <laughs> see him yelling down there. Woo, mercy. Yes, I'm glad he's not, um, glad he's not hollering at me. Hey, that, that, that's always the good thing about it, Mr. Miller. I don't like it when I get yelled at by the coaches. Raiders with the ball, fast and furious action here. Magnum B.A. drives, and Magnum B.A. is whistled for the offensive foul. That's Magnum B.A.'s third personal. Fifth team foul for the Raiders. 4.25 on the clock. Nettleton going with some full court pressure. 2-2-1 two, two, full court press. Tech easily beats it. Three point attempt is good. And that is Benji Goodman. Think about this Goodman kid. He's hurt us with that three-pointer tonight. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's just like we said in the beginning of the game, Mr. Miller. we got a lot of shooters tonight. No doubt about it. Reagan Hanna going up and is fouled. That's Benji Goodman, second personal foul. And Reagan Hanna will be at the line shooting two. Hanna with four points on the night. I would say he goes hard in the paint, but there is no paint in our lane. <laughs> it's the uh, the lack of paint. The, the three-point line is kind of shaded in, or excuse me, the three-point area is shaded in as Reagan Hanna misses another free throw and 3.55 remaining in the game, take with an 11-point lead. Mm -hmm. Let's so see far, if they it's been a fast-paced game. Oh, it really has. I'm looking at my watch. It's 7.03. We started at 6, so. It's been like an hour then. Yeah, and this game is, that's nice job there by George Smith. He's got 16 points on the game. And his mom, very proud of her son tonight, as she should be. Israel Malone from three, no good. Tech with the rebound. 3.23 on the clock. <clears throat> nice pass. Just gets away from the Tech Athlete and JT Turner from three. No good, but there with the rebound is Jabari. Jabari going up and he is fouled. He'll be going to the line shooting two. Looks like we've been getting fouled a lot down there on their side. That's Benji Goodman's third foul. Some numbers are rising up. Here's something interesting. This uh, Green County Tech, Coach Gio, his assistant coach is his wife. Really? How about that? Hey, it, How about that? It's so interesting that something, some people are disconnected. That's, uh, I'll tell you, their son. Yes! There he goes. He, he came in and um, he dropped about 40 on us here 
a couple of years ago. They have a very talented son, and, man, he, he is a heck of a player. Comes from good stock, good basketball stock, undoubtedly. Timeout, Nettleton, full timeout. We'll take it with him. You're watching Raider basketball. on Gary Gray. Rice farming isn't a profession. It's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. Raiders have wrecks. They call collision repair. Back in 1986, Nettleton's Jeff Edgar was smashing baseballs. He hit the first home run in Raider baseball history. These days, he's fixing smashed cars at Collision Repair. Collision Repair staff is second to none, and their facilities are world class. They'll get you fixed up and back on the road in no time. Collision Repair. It's where the Raiders go when the Raiders have wrecks. And we appreciate our great friends at Collision Repair. And uh, getting a, uh, a message here. Number one is Taylor Smith for Nettleton. I've been calling him Q Coleman this whole game. So appreciate Coach Hart filling me in on that. Taylor Smith, number one. My apologies to Taylor. Um, that is my bad, and I am so sorry about that. Loose ball, Magna B.A. battling for it. Let's see what the call is right here. Coach Deaton out on the floor, and he is pressing his case. Looks like it's getting heated down there, Mr. Miller. Yeah, that's uh, Coach Coach Deaton is very, very upset right now. Yeah. We'll try to get you a good look at Coach Deaton. He's uh, not sure exactly what the issue is, but he's wanting to get over there to the referees. They're huddling up there at the Oval Inn, and I guess Nettleton had uh, – yeah, let's see. I thought, yeah, they, I guess they called a timeout. I'll tell you what, we'll keep it right here uh, just in case some fireworks happen. We want to be able to uh, <laughs> catch it here on live. Right. <laughs> Coach Thomas and Coach Ragsdale there. Hey, to uh, Definitely, I want to say shout out to the players down there keeping uh, Coach Dean back. You could, <laughs> by that, you know, you just, you can, that just, that just tells, uh, that just tells us, you know, like, they have, uh, they're very disciplined and making sure that you hey, know, it's they keep their, yeah, they keep their coach in, uh, in line. And hey, we sure. want to say a shout out to Deaton Cox. That's Coach Deaton's nephew watching the game in Massachusetts. So how you doing tonight, Deaton? Wow. Also want to say big shout out to Gordon and Shauna Roddenberry. That's Coach Ragsdale's in-laws. They're watching the games from Georgia. So people watch this game from coast to coast and all over the world. And We're glad to glad to have them. That's a that's a big thing, Mr. Miller. Having people watching from other states. There's Magnum B A. Uh, excuse me, Israel Malone to J T Turner. Turner to Magnum B A. Magnum B A. From the top of the key, oh. no good, out of bounds, and it's going Green County takes way. Twelve point lead for the Golden Eagles. Two thirty nine remaining in the fourth quarter. As Coach Gio has. Definitely slowed this game down here in the fourth quarter. Green County Tech trying to escape Raider Jim with a victory. You can do that. You've done something. Israel Malone deflects the ball. If he had not, it would have been a backcourt, but he did deflect the ball. Tech back with possession. Two minutes, 12 seconds on the clock, and Nettleton's quickly reaching the point where they're going to have to start fouling. Hey, uh, Fouls. you know, I don't know much, nothing, uh, or I don't know a lot about basketball, but uh, what they definitely need to start, or what they need to start picking up is just the defense and making sure they, they gain possession of the ball. Well, that's, uh, you said it there, if they can you know, get some steals, that's a whole lot better than fouling and hoping they miss a free throw. So, definitely. and uh, speaking of which, right on, right on time is a uh, steal by, Jabari White and Coach Deaton takes a full timeout. We'll take it with them. Two minutes remaining in the game. Raiders down by 12. You're watching Raider basketball on NT. First time you held on to the time you let go. Life is a series of unforgettable firsts. 
the ones that are planned, and the ones that take you by surprise. We celebrate and support these firsts as we travel this journey with you, because firsts are what life is all about. First Community Bank, where community comes first. It's changed since the 1950s, but one thing has remained the same. Sue's Drugstore is still keeping Nettleton healthy. Albert and Shirley Sue founded Sue's Drug in 1959, and today their grandson Tyler continues their tradition of fast, friendly, professional service. Sue's Drugstore, keeping Raider Pride healthy and alive since 1959. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym. So glad that you're spending your Monday evening with us, with Adrian Saldivar and myself. Green County Tech leading by a dozen over Nettleton with two minutes remaining. I guess you'd call that the two-minute warning right there. Israel Malone, Nettleton's going to have to score and score quickly if they're going to come back in this game. And Israel Malone does just there, that. There he is, the, the big man right there, making yep. magic happen. Right on cue. Four points for Israel. Green County Tech playing a little bit of keep away right now. Nettleton's defense comes out. And they are trying to run this clock out and Andre Davis commits the foul. That's his first personal, seventh team foul. So Jared Noel will be at the line shooting a one and one. Jared Noel has eight points in this game. All of them came in the first quarter. He really just was a spark for this Green County Tech offense early. Jabari White driving, unable to finish. Hey. Israel Malone is there with the rebound and the putback. Six points on the night for Malone. Nettleton to within eight. There's another foul, and we're going to have to foul and hope that they miss the free throws if we're going to have a chance. This is where, this is where uh, that urgency comes, comes out to play, Mr. Miller. This is where, you know, when it comes to final minutes of the game, it's, it's where all players need to focus in and really go all, out, go all out. Prime time players make prime time plays. Mm -hmm. I heard that in the song somewhere. <laughs> Benji Goodman, he's prime time for his team right there. He's got 10 points. He's in double digits now, and five of which have come here in the fourth quarter. A big three and a couple of free throws right there. Jabari White drives, and he is fouled. Coach Gio is hollering, what are we thinking? Mm -hmm. I can hear a lot of what's coach. Coach Gio says, and I've got two sets of headphones on. Hey, that, that says a lot, Mr. Miller. That, <laughs> that means that, you know, he's really out there uh, getting uh, getting on his players. But he's a great coach, and he, is, um, he has done a very good job at Green County Tech for sure. That was Jabari White coming back. Yep. Here in the fourth quarter, a lot of times – free throws are harder to make. You don't have the legs that you had early in the game, but Jabari White sinks two out of two. Uh, He's three for four there. from the line here in the fourth quarter. Nettleton within eight with just over a minute to play in this game. 103 on the clock. Look for a quick foul here by the Raiders. Tech trying to play keep away as precious seconds ticking off the clock. Under a minute right now, 57 seconds. Nettleton does not foul. Coach Deaton is hollering, foul, foul. And there is a foul. Magnum B.A., about 13 seconds elapsed from the clock before Nettleton committed the foul. This is really getting really and interesting. And un unfortunately, that's Brandon Anderson's fifth personal foul. So wow. he, is, he is disqualified from further participation in this athletic competition. Jason Noel, excuse me, Jared Noel will be at the line shooting two sinks the first that's nine points on the night for Noel and he sinks the second so Noel in double figures for the Golden Eagles 50 seconds remaining 
Raiders down by 10. They're allowing the ball to roll. As soon as he picks it up, the clock will start. JT Turner loses the handle on it, battling for it, gets it back. Good hustle by JT. There you go. Three-point attempt by Taylor Smith. Hey. How about that? Jabari White finishes strong. And foul is charged against Noel. That is his fourth personal. Jaquise Adams into the game for Nettleton, and Jabari White will be at the line for the N1. There's 36 seconds remaining in the game. Tech with an eight-point lead. Man, this game, when he, basketball games like these, when it, when it gets like this, Mr. Miller, this is when it gets really exciting, you know, seeing. No you know, doubt both, about it. Both teams fighting until the end, you know. No doubt about it. You said it there. It's, there is, uh, it's the ultimate reality show <laughs> sports for sure. And glad to have you all along for the ride. Timeout on the court. It's a full timeout. We'll take it with them. Less than a minute to play. Tech 53, Nettleton 46. You're watching Raider basketball on it. It has changed since the 1950s. But one thing has remained the same. Sue's Drug Store is still keeping Nettleton healthy. Albert and Shirley Sue founded Sue's Drug in 1959, and today their grandson Tyler continues their tradition of fast, friendly, professional service. Sue's Drug Store, keeping Raider Pride healthy and alive since 1959. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym, where we are in the final seconds of the fourth quarter. Tech up by eight. I want to say a shout out to a great Nettleton Raider who lost his life. I actually went to the funeral service today. Bud Holmes, I believe he was the class of 51 here at Nettleton. Played basketball long, long ago. Great man, just a very joyful, uh, energetic man. And he uh, passed away at the age of 88. His grandson is Bryce Holmes and Cooper Holmes, another grandson. His uh, son is Doug Holmes. Just a great, great Nettleton family. So for all of us at NTV, we want to say our thoughts and prayers go out to the Holmes family during this time of bereavement. Foul is charged to Jabari White. That's just his second personal foul. And Tech is in the double bonus, so they'll be shooting two. 35 seconds remaining on the clock, if you're wondering. 35 seconds on the clock, 53 to 46. Tech with a seven-point lead. Really got interesting, Mr. Miller, if I'm, if I'm being completely honest. Morris at the line, and he misses the, the first. You bet. There's, uh, there's so much strategy involved uh, with, uh, in, in this game that you know, the casual observer may miss. But with the, uh, you can bet a whole lot is going through Coach Gio and Coach Deaton's minds. They look at this game, they see things that I miss. I promise you that. Right. And that Kyler Morris sinks one of two, 54 to 46. Hey, Jabari White going in. Jabari White filling up the, uh, the scorebook here, brings Nettleton within six. So it's a two possession game, Jabari White with the foul. There's 25 seconds, 25 seconds remaining in the game. Sure, it doesn't feel like it. Sure, it feels like more than that, Mr. Miller, honestly. Yeah, it, it's uh, the game kind of <laughs> the last the last minute, sometimes the last 30 minutes in this <laughs> game. <laughs> Whenever they start fouling. Hunter Wilkerson sinks the first free throw. He's got seven points on the night. Second free throw on the way, and he makes it. That's eight on the night for Wilkerson. Uh, you know, we mentioned Ryan Vaughn earlier uh, broadcasting from our parking lot. The weather, I would like to have heard what he said. I think there's a chance of snow in the forecast. Really? Yeah, I've seen the, the weather broadcast, and, yeah, we might actually get some snow sometime this week. Jared Noel just fouled out. That's his fifth personal. Benji Goodman goes in, and Jabari White will go to the line. He will be shooting two. Uh, Jabari White is not missing anything. Jabari's got 16 points in the game, nine of which has come in the fourth quarter. You talk about primetime players, Jabari White fits the bill. Wow. He sinks Swish. two. 
20 seconds remaining in the clock. J on the clock, JT Turner fouls. So he'll be sending Benji Goodman to the line. If you're wondering at home, Goodman is two for four from the line tonight. Uh, correction, I said Goodman is actually Morris who's going to the line. He also is a 50% free throw shooter for tonight. He's one for two on the night. He sinks the first, and that's a, that's a big free throw right there. It makes it a three possession game, 57 to 50 with 19 seconds remaining. Second one, and Kyler Morris with stick, steps up and sinks two free throws, big time. 30-second timeout. We will keep it right here. 19 seconds remaining in the game. Green County Tech with a 58-50 lead. And while you get a good look at the Raider huddle there, Coach Ragsdale, Coach Deaton, Coach Thomas going over some last-second plans with the guys. Let me say a big thanks to First Community Bank and Russell's Truck Accessories, Shadrack's Coffee, Collision Repair, Della Plains Seed Company, Sue's Drug Store, Consolidated Insurance, and Trish Merritt from a beautiful mess salon. They're the ones who bring Raider basketball to Raider Nation. Hey, shout-out to them, definitely. No doubt about it. Very thankful to those great people. Also appreciate Mr. Carter hooking up our student crew tonight with uh, with – Supper from the concession stand, <laughs> hot dogs and drinks. Yeah, there's some really good hot dogs, honestly. <laughs> when you're hungry, everything tastes better, you know. Yep. It? 16 seconds on the clock. JT Turner from three misses. Green County Tech with the rebound. And, boy, he is mauled immediately by Andre Davis. Well, actually... Not sure exactly what the call was there. I was looking down in my scorebook. There's a foul on Jabari White. So eight seconds remaining. Tech will be at the line. So eight seconds can, can last more than, <laughs> more than a minute. No doubt about it. And Morris sinks the first free throw. He's four for five from the line here in the fourth quarter. Make that five for six. That's, that's better than 90%. So good job there by Kyler Morris. Makes it a 10 point game with eight seconds. Middleton will milk the clock as much as they can. As soon as they pick it up, the clock will start. Hey. Jabari White. And that'll be the final score, 60 for Green County Tech, 52 for Nettleton. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have the Consolidated Insurance postgame show. Tech wins this one by eight. Raider basketball on NTV. First time you held on to the time you let go. Life is a series of unforgettable firsts, the ones that are planned and the ones that take you by surprise. We celebrate and support these firsts as we travel this journey with you. Because firsts are what life is all about. First Community Bank, where community comes first. We're Terry Gray. Rice farming isn't a profession, it's a way of life. As owner of Della Plain Seed Company, Terry's been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. In the summer, Terry's not behind a desk. He can be found in rice fields giving advice, or he can be on your farm helping you put more bushels in your tanks and money in your pocket. From securing your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery, let Terry help you be more profitable this season. Della Plain Seed Company. Hi, I'm Trish Merritt with A Beautiful Mess Salon. I'm a proud graduate of Nettleton High School and a big supporter of the Raiders. I've been at A Beautiful Mess since we opened in September of 2015. I love to take care of my Raider family, like I take care of the legendary Miss T. So feel free to set up an appointment today. Call 870-520-6039. Raider pride is justified. Raider, Raider pride, pride forever. A lot has changed since the 1950s, but one thing has remained the same. Sue's Drugstore is still keeping Nettleton healthy. 
Albert and Shirley Sue founded Sue's Drug in 1959, and today their grandson Tyler continues their tradition of fast, friendly, professional service. Sue's Drug Store, keeping Raider Pride healthy and alive since 1959. When the Raiders have wrecks, they call collision repair. Back in 1986, Nettleton's Jeff Edgar was smashing baseballs. He hit the first home run in Raider baseball history. These days, he's fixing smash cars at Collision Repair. Collision Repair staff is second to none, and their facilities are world class. They'll get you fixed up and back on the road in no time. Collision Repair, it's where the Raiders go when the Raiders have wrecks. There are three things we Nettleton Raiders love. We love our school, we love America, and we love getting our trucks fixed up at Russell's Truck Accessories. Russell's Truck Accessories is the greatest place on earth to make your truck look sharp. If Russell's were a bird, they'd be a bald eagle. If they were a nation, they would be the United States of America. The greatest nation on God's green earth. Thanks in part to Russell's Truck Accessories. And we welcome you to the Consolidated Insurance Post Game Show here at Raider Gym, where a rare Monday night high school game, the Green County Tech Golden Eagles, escape with a 60 to 52 win over Nettleton. Two week layoff and a very tough Green County Tech team. Just a little bit too much for the Raiders to handle tonight, Adrian. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you could just tell the whole entire game, you know, GCT, they. Uh, you could just tell that they had more possession of, of the ball. And, uh, you know, of course, when the Raiders had possession of the ball, they made sure that they uh, they took advantage of that. And, well, both teams did great, but uh, GCT just came out on top. That's right. And you're exactly right. And sometimes you just, you know, you tip your hat to your opponent. You played better than us tonight. We'll get you next time. And uh, something tells me these two teams will be tangling again. Yeah. Um, if you didn't know, it's a little bit different this year. The world is different now with, with the pandemic and everything. But there's usually in the 5A East, the top four teams go immediately to the state tournament. There's going to be a district tournament this year. As it stands right now, Nettleton is, and Tech are four and five. Tech is four and Nettleton is five. If that holds, then in the first round of the district tournament, it'll be Nettleton versus Green County Tech at Green County Tech. The higher seed will be the, the home team. So something tells me these two, these two teams may tangle again. Hey, that will be a, a really good team or a really great uh, match to watch. It will, and there's an old saying, I guess in every sport, but basketball especially, it's hard to beat a good team three times. <laughs> hard, and so – Tech has beaten Nettleton twice. We'll see what happens if they play again. Hey. So, as far as the uh, tonight's game, Green County Tech led 20 to 14. They led the whole way, but they led 20 to 14 after the first quarter, 35 to 24 at half, and they after the third quarter they led 42 and 33. The final score 60 to 52. Nettleton actually outscored Tech in the second half by two points, but that first point lead was just too much to to uh, overcome. The individual leaders for Nettleton, Jabari White, had 19 points, 12 of which came in the fourth quarter. He just filled up the scorebook in the fourth quarter. I don't know if you can read my chicken scratch or not, Adrian, but, man, he just he, oh, yeah. he went off in the I, fourth quarter. I was definitely paying attention to him, and, yeah, he, he wasn't missing anything in that fourth quarter. So, phenomenal player. 19 points and a big night for J Jabari White, for sure. Brandon Anderson finished in double digits with 10. Also for the Raiders, JT Turner, Israel Malone had six, and Reagan Hanna had five. Jaquise Adams got on the board. Jamarion Fowler and um, Taylor Smith did as well. Andre Davis with, with one point as well. And our apologies to Taylor Smith. I called him Q Coleman through most of the night. <laughs> that's that's my mistake, so I'm very sorry about that. For Green County Tech, they, they were led by George Smith with 18 points. 
and uh, he is a uh, he's got some Nettleton Raider blood in him. That's Sherry Barber. If if any of you old school Nettleton Raiders out there remember from the class of 1990, the great Sherry Barber. That's that is uh, Sherry's son, George. That's one reason why that young man's so great. He's got some. He's got the blood of a Nettleton Raider in oh, him. Oh yeah, definitely. 18 points for Smith, and he played a, an outstanding game. 10 points for Jared Noel and Benji Goodman. So they had three. Golden Eagles in double figures. Also, Hunter Wilkerson had eight, and Kyler Morris, Jake Bolin had seven. So that'll do it uh, for the Consolidated Insurance postgame show. I want to remind you, for all your insurance needs, visit with my good friends Randy and Lana Johnson at Consolidated Insurance. We appreciate them greatly. Next game will be tomorrow night at Paragould. Working on getting the student crew together. We're going to do our best to uh, to broadcast that game. Um, but uh, it's a school night, and it's kind of tough to uh, sometimes to do that. So we'll see what we can do if we do not, if we are not able to broadcast tomorrow night. Then uh, we encourage you to listen to the radio broadcast on 94.1. Thanks to our good friends at Front Row Media. Uh, Nettleton graduate Cade Carlton from the class of 2015 will be on the call. So you can definitely listen to that, whether or not we're able to bring the game to you. We'll do our best to do so, though, and we'll have a we'll have an uh, announcement on social media as soon as we can. Let me say thanks again to our sponsors and to our student crew, First Community Bank, Russell's Truck Accessories, Shadrax Coffee, Collision Repair, Delaplane Seed Company, Sue's Drug Store, Consolidated Insurance, and Trish Merritt from a beautiful mess salon. God bless those people for their love of Nettleton, their support. I want to say thanks to our student crew. This is Adrian Saldivar. Made his broadcast debut tonight, and Adrian, I think you did a great job, bud. Hey, thank you so much, Mr. Miller. Hey, I was really happy to come out, and just uh, it, was, it was really fun, you know, commentating my first game here with you. So. Well, man, you did you did great. Uh, Adrian is a, is a star on the soccer team <laughs> for us this year, and hopefully this spring we'll be able to broadcast uh, Adrian's games. Heck, he's not alone. Our crew tonight, we got Tony Williams, who did the directing. Uh, Tony's right over there. I don't know if we can get a shot of Tony. Can you? There we go. There's our girl, Tony. Yes, she did an awesome job. And I know we're not going to be able to get a shot of Sarah Earns because she's behind the camera. She's running the camera. Uh, can she maybe? Yeah, that's yeah, Sarah's hand. Sarah we hand see right Sarah's there. hand. <laughs> but Sarah and Tony are on the girls' soccer team, and so hopefully we'll be able to bring you some soccer action on NTV this uh, this spring. But we greatly appreciate um, these students taking time out of their busy schedule to – uh, to live stream the game tonight. Thanks to everybody who um, was a part of the broadcast. Congratulations to Green County Tech, and we will see you next broadcast. For Adrian Saldivar and Sarah Earns and Tony Williams, I'm Craig Miller. We'll see you next time, Raider Nation. Raider Pride is justified. Raider Pride forever. Oh, master, oh, master, heed of parting soul.